Hey y'all, how's it going? Let me know how audio levels are. Trying out this new setup. Uh, hello Orby. Speaking of Orby, if you look up there, you've been a member for 10 months. It's insane. Almost to a year. It's crazy. Thank you for the support, Orby. Much appreciated. How's everybody doing? Sad, uh, dude. <laughs> hello, Jaded, and everyone else. Hello, gamers. How you feeling, uh... Glitch. I'll just call you Glitch. Uh, cause I know you said that you were feeling sick. And yes, I have the coffee. It's coffee with Dave. So we're gonna be drinking coffee. <sighs> Hello, great Cyan King. Epic coffee, yeah. So how's everybody's week been? It's been pretty eventful for me. We were supposed to get hit by the hurricane, but it never came around, so... Uh, they canceled my classes on Thursday, and I was like, okay, well, it must be really bad. And I looked outside Thursday, it was nothing but wind. I was just like, I, I could have gone, but you know. Let's stack up the work. What brand of coffee? I think it's Walmart coffee. <laughs> Great value. I'm not fancy. Though I could go up to McDonald's down the road and get me a McCafe if I wanted to. Um... Going while flying because of the wind. Got a new. You just got done a new behind the scenes stream this evening. It went great. That's good to hear, Ultrasonic Hero. Yeah. It's awesome. You do music, right? You just do music in some other projects. It's been pretty cool. Heard some of your music tracks. You do a really good job. Sadly, flying is not allowed in this server. <laughs> Hello, uh, Kishin. It's been a while. Been making more cursed images. Well, that's good, that's good. See, people don't like the fluffy hair. Do, do you want me to get a haircut? I can get a haircut, but people don't want that. If you don't want that, let me know. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. How you been, man? No, don't cut my hair. Hair is red. Don't get a haircut. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, I won't I won't cut the hair. Um So let me I don't even know where to begin. I was gonna actually I was gonna name the stream September's been the best month, don't at me. Because it, it has been. September has been an insane month. We've gotten so many different things announced within the span of like how many weeks has it's just been one week it's been one week and so many things has happened like sans even though he's a costume in super smash brothers we, we got him in smash that that was insane and then you got <clears throat> terry because nobody cares about terry uh <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm sure there's plenty of people that care about terry um we got the uh the the spyro grand prix for ctr we got spyro for for switch what else was announced that I'm hype about? I, I don't... There's so many things that happened. Like, it all came crashing down. Talking about Smash Brothers? Yeah. Actually, okay, so, funny thing. The music you're hearing right now is from the soundtrack Sonic the Hedgehog Cafe Selection. I don't know if this is the type of music you would hear at a cafe. <laughs> styled around Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, maybe this one, but the first song that loaded up when I started playing this was Eggman. <laughs> Blast Blue cross battle news coming out on the 22nd. I've heard of Blast Blue. Uh, I think I'm saying that right. It might be Blaze Blue. Blast Blue. <laughs> I've always called it Blast Blue. Looks like an interesting game. I know it's like a crossover fighting game between a bunch of anime and such, and it's really cool. Um, I played the demo for one of them. It had you from Persona 4 in it. That's as much as I can recall. And a character from Sword Art Online. That's about it. That's all I can remember from that game. Can't believe Persona isn't anime. <laughs> Speaking of game announcements, preferably in October, you'll finally reveal what you've been working on this year. That sounds exciting, right? 
Good. It's cool. I'll be on the lookout. Persona 3 is the best Persona. I don't know. I tried getting to Persona 3. Didn't really go how I wanted it to because I got into the series through Persona 4. I guess Persona 3 just never really kept my interest as much as Persona 4 did. I want to play Persona 5, but I don't got a PS4 and I'm more than likely not going to buy a PS4 anytime soon. Thoughts on Heavy for Smash? Would I want it? I mean, Team Fortress 2, I played a bit of it. It'd be interesting to have Team Fortress 2 characters in, but I don't think Team Fortress 2 characters would make it in. I don't know, that's just something that I don't think I'd see happening, because at that point, then the game's just... Well, no. I wouldn't say it's a meme, because Sans is already in it, so... Um, I feel like Nintendo would choose Overwatch over TF2. Uh, but who I want for the last fighter is Crash. I, I, as long as Crash is in there, I don't care. Whoever else comes to the battle, put my boy in. Put my boy Crash in. Are we getting another mainline Sonic game? Uh, oh no, when are we going to get another mainline Sonic I wish I knew. I I really wish I knew because here's what's worrying me, right? We we've gotten little news on what the next new modern Sonic game is going to be besides the fact that SXSW uh Izuka-san said that they we that they were working on something. And if the next game is coming out on a 31st anniversary or near the 31st anniversary i just don't want it to be an anniversary title but something's telling me it's going to be another per anniversary title and i'm just going to be disappointed i mean anniversary titles are great they, they were awesome generations fantastic mania fantastic can we stray away from anniversary titles <laughs> I wouldn't mind 2D, honestly. I wouldn't mind getting a uh, another classic Sonic game. Maybe just to help us with the, the wait for the next modern Sonic game. Another classic Sonic game that introduces new levels, not revamped levels, alright? <laughs> Calm it down, Izuka-san. I feel like it'll be released with an anniversary, but unrelated. I hope so. I hope so, because the, the main theory right now is that we're not going to learn more about it until the 31st anniversary, and that's in 2021. Growing up, I did not like this song, just the fact. I just thought it was weird, but I do like it now, so I mean. Oh, Dylan's trying to steal my viewers. I see how it is. No 2D and 3D Sonic. I think we've seen enough classic and modern clashing together. The only exception I'll have for that is the Olympic Games. I know there's a lot of people that are butt hurt that classic Sonic and classic Mario or just classic characters are being in the Olympic Games. But that's to celebrate a completely different thing and it's completely new to the Olympic Game series. I appreciate they're trying something new rather than rehashing dream events over and over again. It's unique. It's you. It's new to the Olympic franchise. Go at it. Mainline Sonic game anniversary title. Stop. <laughs> this is a Starry Night remix. Sweet. How's it going, Metal? Is it bad that you still want Adventure 3? Listen, it's not bad. There's been so many people that I know that want an Adventure 3, like uh, Lorge from Tales Channel. She's a huge Adventure 3 ad advocate. Um, I think Sam wants an Adventure 3? I don't know. Uh, th there's a lot of people that I know that want an Adventure 3. Me personally, as long as it's an Adventure gameplay style, 
I wouldn't mind it, but I would not want it to be named Adventure 3. I, I just, I don't, I don't like when games introduced numbers into the titles, because then after Adventure 3 comes out, people are going to be like, alright, well, where's Adventure 4? And it's just going to keep on becoming this, you know, like, Adventure 4, Adventure 5, Adventure 6. I just, I never really liked that. I just, I hated numbering. Because eventually they're going to reboot the series or try and rebrand the series and they're going to make another Sonic the Hedgehog. Another, I guarantee it, within the next 20 years, there's going to be another Sonic the Hedgehog. It's just, it's going to be a game based off of Sonic, it's going to be a game in Sonic the Hedgehog. But they're going to name it Sonic the Hedgehog. I guarantee it. Project here is the closest thing to mixing Mania and Adventure together. I can see that. I mean, Project Hero looks very interesting. I, it, I mean, I don't think it's coming to Sage this year. I, I'm not sure what the progress is on that. I know the creator is busy working on other stuff and um, is dedicating as much time as he can to Project Hero. It looks interesting. Uh, hopefully, I'll have a computer that can handle it when it comes out. That, that's that's the plan. I'm hoping to get an upgrade sometime this month. Alright, no problem, Metal. Um, what about 06? You thought that was an Adventure 3? See, then that that's another thing. Like, I mean, I don't know. You can classify whatever game you want as an Adventure 3. To me, personally, I would classify Sonic Heroes Adventure 3, even though it's not called Adventure 3 and it's not at all in the adventure gameplay format, whatever. The fact that I'm saying that I would call it Adventure 3 is because it's a continuation after Adventure 2. It has a storyline that follows after Adventure 2. That's why I would classify Heroes as Adventure 3. But I've seen the argument over and over again. Sonic 06 should be called Adventure 3. Nuh-uh, Sonic Unleashed should be called Adventure 3 because in Japan it was Sonic World Adventure. So therefore, Sonic World Adventure is Sonic Adventure 3. <laughs> I've seen the arguments over and over again. I mean, I don't disagree with you. Of course, there's obvious, like, things that you could pull from each game that helps, you know, helps your opinion stand out. But I just, I personally... Like, for me, again, I classify Heroes as Adventure 3 because it follows up after Adventure 2. Hey, Boulder, how's it going? It was also directly in the Dreamcast era, if we're talking generations. This is true. It was in the Dreamcast era. You had, um, God, what was it? it you had Speed Highway, City Escape, and Seaside Hill. So, they, they all happen in that one era, and they all are connected to each other. Now, let me do this real quick so I can not forget next time. <laughs> Bean just set... Blocked a bunch of wall torches. I can't help you. I cannot help you with that. I'm sorry. Hey, Zenny, how's it going? How'd your, uh, how'd your tournament go? Sorry I couldn't stop by, I was busy working on this new setup, which I will show you in depth. My voice will cut out, but be prepared. Alright, so here is the BRB scene. Alright, wait for my camera to come back, thank you camera. And here is the end stream. I had credits set up on that scene. I don't know why it doesn't want to show. Streamlabs is being... Meh. But, yeah. And I styled them after... I actually have uh, this place where I got, like, Steven Universe tile sets. They're, like, title cards and they're animated. Just because of the recent Steven Universe movie that came out, I just... I've been on a Steven Universe binge...
Glad you think so, Ultrasonic. I was actually gonna add the, the waving gif with Tangle on the end stream one, but I forgot to do it before the stream. You won your own tournament? <laughs> no, Never got to host your SRB2K tourney and sin server. If you want to host it again in my server, you're more than welcome to. Just give me the deets and such, and I'll make an announcement for it. Streamlabs acting up is the natural order of Streamlabs. True. Do you just use regular OBS? I used to use regular OBS, but... See, with my computer being as wacky as it is and wonky as it is... Uh, sometimes, like maybe within the next three months, if I still have this piece of garbage, Streamlabs OBS will start acting up, and I'll have to switch it over to OBS, because OBS, for whatever reason, will start acting right, and then rinse and repeat between the two, because my computer doesn't understand which is which. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. been playing a lot of bed wars lately i need to get i want to get into minecraft i want to branch into minecraft but i'm waiting for frank to set up his server so i can start to do that and also until i get a better computer because i'm not gonna be able to record anything with this piece of garbage And this is the Super Mario Run soundtrack, if anybody's wondering where this music's coming from. I, I booted up the cafe, sound selection, and Mario Run for background music purposes. Becomes a Minecraft tuber? Nah. Nah, I'm more of an all-around YouTuber. Now, I don't know what I classify myself as. Tangle one, though. He's always curious. I don't, I don't know. Though I have been wanting to stream more Spyro. I might stream more Spyro um, next week. Uh, had a lot of fun playing through what I did for the first part. Gotta say, first impressions. That was a, that was a really cool game. Had a lot of fun. Actually fortunate to stream at 720p since you've improved over the past year or so. Pretty stressful due to the internet connections. Yeah, that's another thing. My internet can be spotty because I'm at the back of the house and we switched routers like a couple of weeks ago and my my laptop has been like, okay, your internet connection and strength is this fast. And then some days it'll be like, all right, it's this fast but slow. It's, I hate being in the dead zone. Like this entire area of the room, I used to have my setup over there facing, there's a wall over there. But that entire area, like this half part where you see my closet back there, is a dead zone. The, the Wi-Fi will not reach. It's a dead zone back there. <laughs> yes, it is okay if you have green tea besides coffee. I, I usually drink coffee, but I mean, it's caffeine. It'll work. Looks very tidy. It is not. It may look tidy, but it is not. I have my book bag, some books over there. I got a box over there. Cats over there. Got more books on the floor over here. Being a college student, it's, it suck. It suck. It is very suck. <laughs> New original zone, dead zone. <laughs> Pretty much. Should pour yourself a cup of green tea. All right, no problem. You have a direct wire connection to your PC, and your router is literally right beside the bed. And yet, there's still an inconsistency with issues. It's whack, yo. I used to have a, a direct connection. Um, I used to live in an, a trailer before we moved to this bigger house, and like <laughs> the router would be centered in the living room. And I had like this foot, maybe even a yard Ethernet cable, and I plugged it into the back of the router, 
and trailed it all the way to my room and plugged it into my computer. So, like, when you exited the room and went out into the hallway, you just see this long cord just stretched out across the wall. Trailer squad represent- yeah. I've lived in trailers for majority of my life. Um, I don't see a problem living in a trailer, but having a, a house is nice. I mean, the only difference is, is a trailer is, I don't know, sort of a mini house. I never really, I don't care about living in trailers or living in houses. I got a bed, high speed internet, my games, I'm good. Dead Zone could be an interesting zone idea for Sonic. Well, I, I have even more of a way to expand out on that idea. Scrap Brain. Final Zone. All the floors are pistons. And all the ceilings are pistons. And Eggman just, one by one, crushes down on one. <laughs> the room starts to get smaller as Sonic's like, fight him, so it'd be like, it would be Dead Zone. Have I ever thought of a continuation for the SRB2 multiplayer with Dylan and Frank? We've talked about doing mods and such in the past, it's just, now that I'm in college, Dylan's in his last year of college, um... I don't know what Frank's doing. We, we just got more of a busy schedule, so trying to plan things like that is ridiculously hard. It's so hard. Like, I, I, I forgot to even ask when they were free to do the next coin cast, and we haven't done the coin cast in like... When was the last one? The last one was in June. July, August. We, we haven't done it in three months. Uh, that's just that's how life is, unfortunately. You make a dead zone music track. It'll be non-stop static with occasional spotty blips of actual music. That'd be interesting to hear. Sounds really interesting. All right, hold on one second. Let me. I'm gonna. Hmm. What other music tracks do I have here? Put on some Sonic Mania. That's not Sonic Mania. That's not Sonic Mania. Nope. Put on White Space. I'll be right back. I'm gonna pour me another cup of coffee. Hey, JJ. No, you didn't miss anything. <sighs> Hello, Patrick. How's it going? Yes, I am back, and I have a new cup of coffee. This is probably my... Fourth cup? I don't know. I drink a lot of coffee throughout the day. <laughs> I love coffee. It's probably not a good idea, but I do it anyway. So how's everybody doing? How, how you doing, JJ? How you doing, Patrick? Welcome to the stream. 
Palm Tree Panic from the game of Sonic that I don't like. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, 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 I don't know. I just, I never really liked CD much. CD just didn't um, appeal to me. All right, big question. I, I, I already forgot what I put down here, like right in this big empty space that is occasionally bothering me. Any suggestions of what to put there? <laughs> I don't know what to put there, and it's bothering me, because I was setting this up, and I was like... Because, right there, I had my social links, but I moved them over here, because I thought they looked cooler right there. But... That just, that bothers me. Bothers me immensely. You're back with your lovely hot green tea. Sounds delicious. Um... I don't really have a favorite tea. Then again, I mean, I, I drink all my stuff just straight. I don't add anything to it. No sugar, no creamer, no nothing. I, I just, after it's done brewing, I pour me a cup and I start drinking. <laughs> my channel name, maybe? I could. Have to find that logo again. Actually, you know what? I got this. I got this. I, I know exactly what I'm going to put there. Alright, I just want to make an apology to Sam. We're going to put Sam there. There we go. Sam's there now. The gang's all here. That was just a cutscene. They they literally paused it just for the cutscene. <laughs> Ooh, Spagonia. I like Spagonia. You like SA2 or SA1 more? SA1 more. Just gonna question every single thing I do. Yes. Precisely. What I should do is, I should make it look like he's holding the webcam. So, I could just, like, cut his arm off. <laughs> and then put it behind the scene. Oh, God. You know what? We're just gonna put him here. Forgot that- He looks like Ant Dude. When he has his glasses on, he looks like Ant Dude. Mwah! A spicy meme! But yeah, I like um, I like Sonic Adventure more than I do Sonic Adventure 2, just because I don't know. I um, I guess it's just because it's more open than Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure 2 became more linear with stages, and I mean I could see why they did that because you have a hero side and a dark side. Uh, but I didn't know until like maybe near the end of last year when, uh, it might have been the beginning of this year, when Dylan was doing the low score runs for Sonic Adventure 2, I had no clue that Shadow had less levels than Sonic did. It, it, like, it blew my mind because it didn't really make sense. Because I was like, Sonic has all these levels and Shadow's supposed to be, you know, like, the, the harder version, it's supposed to be a more darker version of the levels, but it didn't, it didn't, Makes sense to me until he listed all the levels side by side. I was like, there's like three levels for Shadow in the entirety of Dark Story. Might be four. I can't remember. Do I know Mr. Pasquale? Or. I, I always forget how he pronounces his name. Yeah, I do. I talk to him ever so often. They didn't even bother to put make other parts to Angel Island and Teal Plus. They didn't even bother to make the entirety of Angel Island in Plus. They just put in the beginning portion. That was it. That was my feeling when they when they did that. They they just gave us the beginning portion. Thank you, Mania Plus soundtrack. You did a wonderful job. That was perfect timing. <laughs> Oh, you've already heard this. It's Dreams of Absolution, of course. 
Oh, the 2014 remix. Also doesn't have your boy Chaos as a villain. Literally unplayable 0 out of 10. Nah, Dylan, Dylan does a good job at rewriting stuff. Um, I have my own ideas for rewriting stuff, and I would love to do my own rewrites. It's just, I always get clustered when I'm writing my own stuff. It's like writing an essay, and I'm current. I'm actually supposed to be working on an essay right now, but... You know. um, it just takes a lot out of me to, to sit down and think about okay, well, this is how I would write it. Because th there's so many things in a game that I want to change that I don't want to change it too much to the point where it's completely different. I mean, I know Dylan, like, completely rewrit the entirety of Sonic 06. Like, I guess that's the only way you could rewrite 06, just to completely take it apart and put it back together. Um, but yeah, he does a pretty good job. I have my own, uh, like, before he started his Forces rewrite, I was just, I was talking to him, and I was like, y your rewrite for Lost World makes me want to rewrite Forces, so I've been doing a lot of study and researching, and, I, I, you know, I, this was before he posted his, um, and I had, like, maybe three pages written down of how I would have re rewrote in Forces. But I stopped working on that because I just... I didn't care for it anymore. <laughs> Do I like the SA1 or SA2 version of this song better? I probably have to go with Adventure 1. I think Adventure 1, it just feels a lot more emotional. It's got a lot more emotion to it, rather than Adventure 2. Adventure 2 is just, it's a punk rock song. Whereas in... Adventure 1, or I might be getting those two mixed up. It's been a while since I've heard both versions. Comes out, what are you hoping to witness or see in the game? I don't know, honestly. When it comes to the Olympic titles, I just sort of stopped caring about what they put in. Because it always feels like a copy of all the others. Um, I just hope the story is interesting because I know that they're doing a story mode and it's like, I, I don't, when I saw the screenshot of how it's going to play out, I didn't really like it. It felt like a huge downgrade to the past experience of story mode where, I mean, like, it looks like it's just a Mario type of world kind of thing, Super Mario World type of map, and then you go from spot to spot. That's what it looked like. Whereas in the previous iterations of story mode, you could actually walk around the city, talk to characters and such. I, I just feel like it's more limited to what you could do in the overworld. Do you think Sonic is big enough to make its own Avengers-style crossover event? With other Sega franchises, or just Sonic in general? Because, I mean... Maybe? I have to get back to you on that one. <laughs> the 2014 remix was the SA2 version, or was the remix of the SA2 version. It's pretty cool. He had forces rewrite where Sonic goes into space to save other planets from clutches of Phantom Ruby, while the rest of the gang stays on Earth to save the world from Infinite. That sounds interesting. Um, I didn't really like how they portrayed Infinite in Forces, but then again, it was a completely different writing team than what the prequel comics had. Because not a lot of people know this, but there were like four different comics that were supposed to serve as like a a prequel to Sonic Forces. And it went over the events of like, how did Infinite 
team up with the Eggman. Uh, how did Eggman get the Phantom Ruby? And it just it made it made forces make more sense. But how they introduced him in forces, uh, I'm talking about Infinite here. How they introduced Infinite and in forces just by if you were to play it and not had read through the prequel comics, and you played episode shadow which was a huge letdown in my opinion i just i didn't really like it as much as i thought i was going to um it just it completely neglects all the character development that he had well i mean he didn't had very little in the prequel comics but it just didn't seem like how he was like in the prequels in the prequel comics What's my favorite game controller? My favorite game controller? Probably the GameCube. And, uh, I don't know. I've always felt that the GameCube controllers were always more... And this isn't an actual one. This is just the, the Fight Pad Pro that I use for Smash. But I always liked how... Like, how it was designed. Because, like, you had the A button there. And it's big, so this is usually what you're going to be pressing all the time. So they made sure that was, like... What you were pressing all the time, you had the B button, which served not much purpose, but was a little bit of purpose. You had the Y and X buttons, and then you had the Z button, then shoulder buttons. I just really like how comfortable it felt. That's why I like using this in uh, Smash. I mean, I got a GameCube adapter, but I just don't have any functional GameCube controllers to work with it. Sega Heroes is a thing, this is true, that is a thing. Which of games on the DS is still the best one, in your opinion? That's actually the the only story mode for Sonic, Mario, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games that I remember. Have I played Jet Set Radio? I, uh, I tried playing it because I got the Sega bundle pack for Steam a while back, and I tried getting into it. I just couldn't get into it. My cat is at the door meowing. More than some of Nintendo's IPs. Well, I mean, I guess it's just because I feel like Nintendo's IPs are more strict to the console they come out come out on. Which is true because all the Nintendo IPs come out on Nintendo consoles only, and Sega has always published to multiple consoles. Mystic Ruin. Horses was written by SA2 level designers. Did not know that. That's interesting. You like the Xbox One controller the best, though you like the Xbox 360 controller the best because best before your PS, I mean, PS, PlayStation, Xbox 360 controllers, wires got busted up. I mean,. I've seen the huge debate between the Xbox One controller and the Xbox 360 controller. A lot of people like the 360 controller a lot. I know Frank likes it a lot. Though, I could be wrong. He, he might like the Xbox One controller a little bit more. It's comfortable. Hey, Maxi, how's it going? Why is Sam there? Because I didn't know what to put down there in the empty space, so I just put Sam there. Here, I got- uh, I'll make it even better. We will do this. <laughs> it works. Move it over just a tad bit. Whoa! There we go. Crash Bandicoot's Procrastination Station. Tweeting it to Sam now. Sweet. Hopefully he'll stop by the stream and... <laughs> Be so confused. Mosquitoes are harassing you. You might be secondary. I have no clue what that says, but sure. What's new with me? Uh, nothing much. Just chilling. Hey, Jacob. How's it going?
Sam Procrast. <laughs> hey, Technology Tree, how's it going? Hold the fuck it bucket. I have to get that off the internet. I just don't feel like. I mean, I would boot up my internet browser, but if I do that, the stream will start to lag because my computer's trash. So maybe next stream I'll have them holding that. <laughs> What's your favorite soundtrack from Mania? I was gonna say song from Mania, but I, I've already said soundtrack, so might as well go with it. My opinion on Google Stadia, it's gonna flop. It's gonna flop hard, and let me tell you why. It's cloud-based. Cloud-based platforms are not ready to be made yet. I mean, sure, you can make it and it works sometimes, but it's not the ideal way to go right now. Maybe within the next 20 years or so, I'd say, sure, Google Stadia will be successful. Right now, no, I I have a feeling it's gonna flop really hard, and Google is gonna feel the the flop. Nobody, I just I don't see the interest in it. It's cloud gaming based. It's not gonna work. God, yeah, it's not gonna work unless you have a strong internet connection, and that that's the problem. See, they're they're trying to market this cloud. Whenever a company makes a cloud streaming service, and they market it to people, they're like, oh. You can play games on the go on your on your uh, on your phone on the go and wherever you go. You you can play it on your TV, you can play it on your computer, you can play it on your phone, you can play it on whatever. But what they fail to realize is that not everybody has that strong internet connection. Ooh. Time trials with the, the June Sineo mix. Sweet. I think it's gonna flop. Cloud-based gaming isn't ready yet, and it's- I just don't think that's something we should be pushing for yet. Redeem it is the 4K screen only with Pro 1080p otherwise resolution. I mean, I just- I just don't see- where they think it's gonna succeed obviously it's gonna succeed for youtubers or not youtubers only but like with people that have a pretty decent internet connection but I just I don't know cloud gaming to me just doesn't seem very plausible right now because not a lot of people can access it and it's I just don't think it's the market that we should be pushing for right now. If anything, I think we should be pushing more towards virtual reality and then maybe focus on cloud-based gaming stuff in the future. But I just don't think Google's got that infrastructure. You've seen how many times YouTube goes down for the entire day. I just, I can't see it happen. You're fine, Expo. Emmy, Emmy, use endless possibility. I have. Emmy makes a lot of good tracks. I don't know. When I heard Google Stadia was a thing, and like literally after they announced that, all the other game companies came in. They're like, "We're introducing a game streaming service, everybody." <laughs> Just, it was it was a literal joke. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. I have no clue what that says, but much appreciated. I'm trying to read the name, but it's too small on my screen right now. When YouTube doesn't clear out the descriptions, so a video gets stuck with another video's description. Sometimes that happens. That specifically doesn't happen to me. But one thing that I do notice ever so often is that if I like click off the page or go to YouTube's homepage, the thumbnails like transfer over, and it's like this completely different video, but it has another video's thumbnail. It's not the right thumbnail. I I've seen that happen before.
Sands. Gotcha. Well, much appreciated for the sub. I haven't had that issue yet yourself. I don't know. YouTube needs work. YouTube needs a lot of work. Like, did you see that they started... <sighs> it's so not necessary. They started rounding sub counts. <laughs> it's... It's not even rounded correctly. So if we if we were gonna round my sub count right now, I'd be at 8,000 subscribers. What they did instead was they were like, okay, we're going to take the last number of the subscription total and just replace it with a K. So instead of rounding it up to 8,000, they have me at 7.98K. What's the point? What What's the point of replacing the last number with K? Why not just show the entire thing? If you're not gonna round it up properly. I just, I, I don't understand. They got the backlash. When they announced that like three months ago, people hated it. People were backlashing YouTube. They received a great amount of backlash. And it's because no one really talked about it anymore and YouTube just stopped talking about it. They just sort of silently updated it within the past, like, couple of days. And it's, it's so stupid. It's, <laughs> it's infuriating. Someone's talking about me. Stop. Sam. Sam is, Sam is talking about me. I, I know it. Hello, Hitler. How's it going? How's your day? <sighs> How do I feel about SNES Online? It's okay. They've got some titles on there that I've been wanting- I mean, I've been wanting to replay. Uh, there's Eggman. For the, the cafe selection, because someone wants to walk into a coffee shop and order their espresso triple shot and uh, feel like a badass gonna rule the world someday SNES online is a thing is rad enough on its own it, it's cool it's cool but what did Nintendo do <laughs> they stopped doing monthly releases for the games why like Oh, they ruined their entire system. Why did they do that? Why did they do that? That is so weird. New games each week. I mean, I guess, but like, why would you stop doing monthly updates? Like, monthly update, if it if it's possible to do weekly releases, that'd be cool. But like, <laughs> why would you stop monthly releases? Gave people something to look forward to each month if they weren't looking forward to buying a new game. I mean, and the SNES library is massive. They could really pull it off. I could care less about the... NES library right now since the SNES library just got added so I don't care what other games come to the NES library they could if it's not three games a month just make it two or one you can do that you can evenly split it up I look like a dork what why was that because I've had my fourth cup of coffee today and Mickey Mouse is on it <laughs> but I knew the SNES classics were coming to the Switch anyway because it, it just it made sense. The NES Classic released, and then they added the NES Library. Well, this this is like a year or so later. But I mean, like I don't know. Once they announced that they were stopping production of the NES Classics and the SNES Classics. It sort of gave me the idea that SNES was coming to the Switch. 
Hate Switch Online. It's not a, I mean, it's not a good service, but for what it is, it's, it's pretty cool. At least it's $20 a year. Gonna head out, some work done before it gets too late. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Thank you for stopping by, Little Boulder. Much appreciated. Hope you have a good one. No, you do not wish you could hug me. Um, what would happen if Sonic had his classic games on the SNES? I mean, if you're looking for bootleg copies of Sonic, I'm pretty sure there might be a bootleg version of Sonic on SNES. I'm not too certain about that. How do I feel about Spyro GP? It's easily the most underwhelming to you. Um... I, I don't know. I, I can't see what the names say, so I just... <laughs> I just... I stopped. <laughs> Trying uh, my kit for life. How's it going? Um, I think the Spyro Grand Prix is a little bit underwhelming to me because, and I mean, no hate towards Mind Over Mutant, even though I hate that game with the burning passion. <laughs> I still think it's cool that they're adding in the skins for Evil Coco and Evil Crunch from those games. But does a Spyro Grand Prix not? Crash Mind of a Mutant Grand Prix. Why would you... Why? Why would you put those two skins that have nothing to do, nothing, no relation to Spyro at all, in this Grand Prix? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Adorkable. I don't like that word. Speedy Gonzalez that <laughs> puts Sonic in the game. That's cool. Crash of the Titans Grand Prix would be fun. I need to help you unlock stuff. <laughs> I've been so out of like, okay, this is how out of the Grand Prix that I've been. There's days where I used to play it daily that I just don't play it daily anymore. I launch it like every two days and then do like a mission or two off the Grand Prix challenge and then I stop. Just because I don't, I don't know. I want the 5% cart for Spyro, but I don't want to work for the Evil Crunch skin since it's not necessary for me. I don't want the Evil Crunch skin. It, it's not something that I want or need. I am not adorkable. Adorkable, define it. You've been in a crash team racing drought. Me too. If you don't get Spyro, you're quitting the game forever. Getting Spyro for me legitimately took about maybe 30 minutes. 30 minutes at the latest. I'm not sure how fast it took me to get Spyro. I just knew as soon as I unlocked him, I was like, that was pretty freaking quick. But it's probably because I did like three of the pro challenges before I unlocked him. So that really gave me an extra boost. I'm not sure what other pro challenges I haven't done yet. It's probably something that requires you to finish online, and I just, I don't have the skill, nor do I want to put in the time or effort to do it, so I just didn't care for them. They're buying into the microtransactions for CTR. I mean, it's there, it's optional. If you want to do it, you can do it. It's just not necessary because now that we're on the weekend, you get the weekend bonus. And let me tell you something about the weekend bonus. Oh boy. You're you're going to save a shoot ton of money, but you're going to have time to play with friends. See, this, this is why you play with friends and not spend money. On the weekend bonus, you get that double the daily bonuses, so if you just grind a really short track for like 30 minutes, you already can rack up to about 10,000 coins. So you've just saved yourself $10. $10 for playing the game. And that, that goes on, like the weekend bonus lasts until Monday. Might be Sunday now since they changed it, because they like changing things. Um, but you can essentially, within the weekend, get at least maybe 40k Wumpa coins if you're grinding at it. 
It's crazy. I am not a chick magnet. Listen, if I were a chick magnet, I'd, I'd have a girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. When do I think the game will be announced? The plane will be announced? Are you talking about the special cart? I think that's in relation to Call of Duty. Modern War is it Modern Warfare? Is that the game they're remaking? I'm not even sure if it's a remake. Might be a reboot. Um, I do not have Dylan. Um, the Warfare reboot. I still don't understand why they're rebooting that. Didn't they already do a Modern Warfare remake? I'm confused. Um. I think that's in relation with that thing that they're going on. I think you have to play the beta to get it. I'm not too certain what the details are on that. But I'm pretty sure that's a PS4 exclusive. I know the only other thing that I can think of that would be a special cart category would be the um, Sour Patch Kids stuff that's going on right now. What's in my closet? My jester drawer? That's all that's in there, besides a broken down PS4. <laughs> Be paid DLC, all proceeds go to the charity organization for vets. That's, that's nice. That That's something I'd want to put money towards. That's something I would pay into. That, that'd probably be the only thing that I would put money into regarding microtransactions for that game. Um, besides the, the Sour Patch Kids stuff. What's in the bag? Okay, fine. Alright, so at PAX East, Nintendo was there, and they were, if you played a game or something, I played like Mortal Kombat, uh, the, is it 11 now? It crashed. <laughs> oh my god, okay, so I got up there, we were waiting, me and Dylan were waiting in line, and I got up there, and I wanted to play Mortal Kombat 11 because I thought it was impressive that it was on a Switch. I want to see how it handled. The The girl at the kiosk was setting it up and everything, and she handed it to me. She said, select your characters. I said, okay. So I selected this one, and then the, PC, or the CPU was random. And as soon as I got into the game, it crashed. <laughs> it crashed. I just found it so funny. Because that was the first game that I had played at PAX East that crashed. And uh, so by playing the demos and such, you can gain tickets. And um, Akinola, which is no longer Dylan's channel manager, uh, we met him and he had two Nintendo tickets that he didn't use, so he gave them to us, uh, which was a huge thank you to him. And I got this cool Nintendo Switch strap bag so that's i had all the stuff that i had from pax east in here but i took it out and i cleared it out what did she say she didn't say anything she just rebooted the the console and the console felt really hot so i'm surprised the switch didn't like overheat and break do i look like tangle in a weird way <laughs> Yeah, she didn't really say much. No, don't don't claw at the Nintendo Switch bag, you maniac. Hit you up with the Sour Patch codes. I can't even get them, man. Look, I asked my dad because he was going to Walmart, and I asked him if he could. I gave him the money, and I asked him if he could get the Sour Patch Kids, and. I sent him a picture of what it looked like, and the uh, online, you can like select the store that's closest to you, and it'll tell you if something is in stock, and it said that it was in stock, so I was expecting them to have it. They only had the Trident stuff, and I, I just told them to get one of those, and Trident doesn't get you anything but the mint green, and I just felt very disappointed. I didn't want the paint job, I wanted the car. Dave the actual furry. I mean, if you want to call me a furry, it's your opinion. 
and I play a funny video, I would. And I've been thinking about maybe watching videos on stream sometimes whenever I do this. It's just, I don't know how to specifically do it where it doesn't have to use my computer. Because if I were to screen share anything, my computer would throw a fit. So I was thinking maybe I could stream it off the Nintendo Switch, right? You, you think that'd be something you could do, right? Right? You know, it's a console. You can stream stuff off the console with the capture card. You can't do that. <laughs> um, I was talking to Riders DX, and most people might know him if you watch his, uh, his SpongeBob stuff, or Crash stuff. And apparently, they have the HCDPI. It might be HDPI. Whatever the protocol is that prevents you from streaming, like, Netflix, uh... Hulu and all this other stuff when plugged into a capture card to protect it from, you know, piracy. And YouTube doesn't work, which confused me because YouTube isn't like Netflix or Hulu. So he had to use his Wii U to stream it. I don't got a Wii U. You want Cat? Well, Cat is sleeping. Where did I get my cat? Um. I was living with my mom at the time, and my sister had got, uh, well, it used to be my sister's cat, but he grew attached to me when he was a kitten. Wait, no. Uh, wrong cat. Sorry. Um. <laughs> oh, God. That was the wrong cat. Um. I don't even know where I'm at right now. The coffee has confuzzled my brain. He was a kitten. He was a kitten in a litter of one of my cats. And they ran away. So we just took care of him. Um, and we sold two other two. Or we gave other two kittens away. And we kept two. And uh, he's just been attached to me ever since. Um, <laughs> funny story. It's... Not really funny, but I mean, so you know like how cats, uh, when they have kittens, they like, they do what they think is best for them because it's nature. Well, apparently something was wrong with my cat, so my cat, or the cat, the mother, would take him and we had a hole in the wall and she would hide him in that hole and obviously because cats can get in anywhere that they want to it, anywhere possible that humans can't get to it was behind my sister's bed so we had to take apart the bed go into the wall get him out and then put the bed back together this is crazy where I hike, was I hike for Sans? Yeah. Uh, if you go back, I didn't do a reaction stream. I wanted to, but my computer sucks. <laughs> I'm going to say this a lot. <laughs> uh, I, I did my reaction with Sam. Um, Sans Procrastination Station. If you go and watch his reaction, not really sure what part it is in the, the video. I'm pretty sure someone's probably time stamped it in the comments. Like, after... Sam says like, oh my god, or whatever, he says, you can hear me scream Sans, like, maybe three seconds after. I was pretty hype, yeah. I do not watch that channel. Not sure if I'm familiar with it either. Sorry, glitch. Um, let's see here. How do I keep my hair so luscious? I didn't choose the luscious hair life. It chose me. Unfortunately. I hate curly hair.
Hey, Kingston, how's it going? Sans Undertale Sports Matt is the single most powerful character in Smash. Um. I think I told Maxie this, but I'm not sure how many of you know this, but, um. In the character files for. For Sans me costume, there's a space there that has his blue eye. So a lot of people are very skeptical about what that's going to be. Most lagging game I've played? Like, due to hardware limitations or just the game itself? Uh. Play Polluted Piranha Plant from Super Mario Sunshine. The best Mario Sunshine. <laughs> the best Mario Sunshine. The best Mario game. Did I just get drunk off a of coffee? Is that possible? I don't think that's possible. Before you cut it. The game itself. I don't know. That's a good question. I've played a lot of games. But I don't think I've played a game that lags so hard within itself. Maybe Minecraft? Like, if you're doing something on a- Okay, so like... You know how some Minecraft servers, they, um... They can lag? There was one point in time where this Minecraft server lagged so bad, I had to wait like maybe... Three minutes before I could break a block. Close as I can get. Technology tree. Just change your YouTube name. To match your Sonic content. No problem, no problem. That in mind. My thoughts on the CTR Nitro Fueled October Grand Prix data mine? Um, I've seen them. You know, I, uh. I, I think it's pretty legit. Beta M, even though. There have been things that he's data mined that, like, for example, Ripto and Sorceress and Baby Cortex and Baby Entropy not being characters that are actually a part of the Grand Prix beforehand. Um, even, those, even though those were found in the data mine, his stuff still pretty much lines up with whatever else is announced. Um, so I think it has a good chance that, you know... Maybe the track will be completely different. Because game development is always changing. So, like, if he's data mined it, he'd probably data mine it from a version of the game that's out. So, whenever the game. Hold on one second. There's probably two to... Okay. But, uh. Like he said before, and many people state before, game development always changes, so there's always going to be changes in between. So from this latest version of the data mine, there may be things in it that will be removed. I think it's legit. That was nobody. It's all an illusion. Minecraft is the single most demanding game on PC. Indeed. My thoughts on the OK KO episode crossover, uh, Sonic crossover. I uh, I did a video on that if you want to go check it out. But overall, I think it was really good. I liked it. This YouTube thinks the stream is about Sonic too. It's good old YouTube. I don't know what you're talking about, Sierra. <laughs> I'm gonna pour me, yet again, another cup of coffee, so I'll be right back.
Good stuff. I have returned. That slurp. I do it every time. I don't know why. I just find it amusing when I slurp things. Um. Hmm. Let me think. Yeah. <clears throat> no cat, though. You guys wanted cat, right? No cat. Come here. I am not doing an ASMR. Cattle. Cattle. He sees that I've walked in with a, a plate of chicken. He wants it so badly. <laughs> he wants it so badly. <laughs> Looks like your cat spot. I've, I know so many people that have mini cats that look alike, like mine. Crazy. Like, um, in the CTR Amino that I've created, someone posted a post of a cat named Pura, and my sister's cat looks almost exactly like that cat, and that cat's name is also Pura. <laughs> that is weird. Call it a spot. Cacho, it's okay. Looks like Shane's cat. Are we talking about the the popular YouTuber that I don't watch? <laughs> I just know him because of YouTube drama. Cat! <laughs> I know you want the chicken, buddy, but you can't have the chicken. Yes, I know, you, but you can't, you can't has the chicken. Has the chicken. No, no, no. All right, all right. We're going, going for a walk. Hold on one second. <laughs> Gosh darn. If we wait a little bit, he's prob- There he goes. He likes to scream at the door. He loves doing that. If he knows I got food, he's, he's gonna scream at the door. Um. But yeah, I mean. I don't even know where I was when we were talking. I just wanted to get more coffee. Um. Hmm. It's 7.16 here. <laughs> an hour behind. Or, I'm an hour ahead. Cat is smaller, is white with a black tail, is hyperactive. Well, that's the best time for cats. You know, personally, I like having kittens because they're playful and such when they grow up they don't care they just they just sleep that's all they do they sleep all day am i a starbucks girl yes uh if i ever get the chance to go to starbucks i will go to starbucks that's literally the only type of coffee that i would order down in Boston, when I went to Pax East with Dylan, we, we would, before we returned back to the hotel, we walked to the Starbucks, and I bought me an iced Americano. That was the same time, that was the same night that we, uh, found that, that, like, street post that looks like a checkpoint from Sonic the Hedgehog. I would show it on stream, but I have not a clue where that photo went. And it's it's probably lost on the internet. Same time zone, Eastern Standard Time, boys. 
Which Sonic game? It just looks like the classic Sonic check post. Checkpoint post. Mech Bowser. Ooh, I like this. Samacoot. Yes, Crash Samacoot. Crest or Colgate? Either. They're toothpaste. I mean, if they're gonna help my, my teeth be strong and clean, give it to me. I don't care. <laughs> Good add after the Naughty Dog characters in CTR. Not that I'm too familiar with. A lot of people want Yaya the Panda, and not many people know who Yaya the Panda is. Yaya the Panda is a forgotten character because she only appeared in the mobile, like the, the really old mobile Crash Team. Uh, it was, I think it's Crash Nitro Kart. Nitro Kart. It was one of the Crash Nitro Kart. I think it was Crash Nitro Kart 2 she appeared on. That was when Java was mostly the operating system for phones, and they've made games for for phones. I can't choose just one, Sierra. They're both toothpaste. That's like, that's like asking me, do I like McDonald's chocolate cookies, or do I like Burger King's chocolate cookies? Both chocolate cookies. Do I like Spark the Electric Jester? I played the first game up till the Fark fight, and then I stopped playing because I couldn't, like, my computer couldn't handle it. Um, it's an interesting game series. I think Fepper did a, a pretty good job on it. Uh, Fark, or Spark the Electric Jester 2 looked interesting from what I've seen. Yes, the Fark fight. F-A-R-K. Sounds like fart. <clears throat> I don't go to McDonald's often. I just, I don't know. Fast food, I, I don't tend to go to fast food often. And it's a good thing, because fast food's unhealthy. You don't you don't want to do that too often. I'd love to go to Chick-fil-A, but my Chick-fil-A, the Chick-fil-A near me, is all the way downtown. I don't have a ride, so I can't go to Chick-fil-A. I haven't had, I haven't had, I almost said KFC. I haven't had KFC in a long time. I haven't had Chick-fil-A since my junior year of high school, and that was three years ago. I really wanted to go to KFC, like, earlier this year because they started doing, they did that, uh, that, like, limited run of chicken sandwich with Cheetos on it that looked so good. I'm not sure if they're still doing that anymore, but I wanted to try it, but I could, I just, I don't have money. I'm a broke college student. You think I got money for KFC? I'm 20. That's how old I am. What guest characters would I like to see in future Grand Prix? I don't know, honestly. If they're coming from different franchises, there's a lot of characters that would work for Crash, and a lot of characters that wouldn't work for Crash. Um, and I think by far they hit the hammer on the nail with Spyro, because Spyro works with Crash. I can't think of any other franchise that I would like to see come to Crash Team Racing, just because... None of them really are close with Crash like Spyro was. I am from Southeast, so most of my family are Southern, yes. Hello Bryce, how's it going? Three years since I've had Chick-fil-A. Listen, Chick-fil-A is expensive. Chick-fil-A is expensive, and my family doesn't get fast food <laughs> all the time. So, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm missing out on a lot. I would just go to Chick-fil-A with my friends in the morning on our way to school because my friends would come and pick me up and we'd ride to Chick-fil-A or Taco Bell 
to get something for breakfast and then we'd show up at school. Um, pretty good stuff. Can we go to Chick-fil-A? Listen, I don't know if I'll even have money to go to Chick-fil-A if we ever meet. Because I guarantee all my money would be on the plane ticket to get there. That's how it's always been. At PAX East, I barely had any money. I could only buy like one t-shirt before I was like, alright, I gotta stop spending money now. <laughs> Plane tickets are expensive. Really, really expensive. What if you went to me? Well, I don't got money either way, so I wouldn't have money in either situation. <laughs> YouTube doesn't pay me enough. Yes, yeah, so that was a meow because, like I said, Ed will be at my door. His name's Ed, by the way. He will be yelling. I'll let him in. Fine. I'll let him in. See? There's nothing here. You want to take over the stream now? Is that what it is? You gonna... You gonna take over the stream? Do you wanna... What's up, guys? It's Ed the Gamer. My beats I spent $130 on. <laughs> if I get a powerful computer, I'm just gonna get another webcam and I'm gonna set up a cat cam. That's what I'll do. No, don't jump. Anything but that, please. <laughs> You've got food. I poured you some, like... I don't know how long ago, and the, the bowls are still full. I saw them. Don't try and act cute. I know what you're thinking. He, he's looking at my desk. He's trying to plan. He's strategically planning in his head. That's how all cats are. They sh strategize their jumps and such. He's about to jump! <laughs> Please, let go. This cat, no, 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 I know your ways. I've known you for a year, I know how you are. Does the cat have Dave merch? No, but I can get him some. Not really. The only thing that I own that's merchandise wise is my hat. And that was like, see, it's so expensive trying to get your own merch. Like, <laughs> when you set up your own merch, you think you get some kind of special discount. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Nope. You gotta pay just as much as everybody else pays. So if I wanted to buy myself a t-shirt, I have to pay $20. <laughs> Get free Davies merch in Minecraft and Roblox. <laughs> Alright, he's calmed down. He went to go lay on my, my notebook in binder. Ever since I got those from my college bookstore, that's all he would lay on. He doesn't like laying on anything else. If it's not that, he lays on my backpack. You like Minecraft? There's a lot of people that like Minecraft. I used to play it a lot, but then I stopped. Cube World's coming out at the end of the month. I'm just saying, there might be something to be looking forward to if you've been following Cube World. Super Buck World. I'm not really sure what that's from. Yeah, I've heard the the prototype. I've no crash inside and out. I have, like, 
I wish I could show. Actually, you know what? Let me try and uh, yeah, Q World is coming out. It's coming out at the end of September. If you have the alpha, uh, they already said that they will be sending people that only alpha Steam keys. I will try to attempt to show you my crash collection. Not sure how well this is gonna show up on camera at all. <laughs> uh, da, 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 focus. There it goes. Cato is trying to jump. So I got the the art book. I got a figure. I got a pop. I got the Crash Team Racing pop. The Insane Trilogy. Cato is on keyboard. Might in stream. Please do not. My headphones again. Being a hundred thirty dollars. <laughs> what was that, Ed? Just I looked at him and I was trying to push him away from going towards the jump, and he just fell back on his back. <laughs> You're back with funny bones. My favorite flavor of pizza, pineapple. Pineapple pizza is the best pizza and you cannot change my mind. Trust me, I would not be an idiot to do either of those things, JJ. <laughs> I love cats too much. Yeah, I, I've heard all those things. I don't understand why streamers do that. Specifically if it's the middle of a game. Like, she had no right to just pick up the cat and throw it. Why would you do that? Why would that be your first reaction? Like... Why? I, I just, I never understood why people... Ridiculous. Never tried pineapple pizza. It's good. I like it a lot. Dylan despises me for it, but, you know. Pineapple pizza is where it's at. I care about cats too much, and any animal for that matter. They don't deserve the abuse that owners give them. Your seat, then move your chair and the controller falls off due to the cord. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes I've used Bluetooth headphones for a while, so now that I have these headphones that plug into the microphone. Um, I'll forget that I have them plugged in and I'll start the walk and then I feel a little bit of friction on my way towards the door. I'm like, let me stop before my entire setup just comes falling down. <laughs> Bread. Dylan's trying Dylan's trying to steal my viewers. I don't appreciate it. I will despise that talk a lot 64 man And see the bigger problem here is um, That most of the time when stuff like that happens twitch doesn't do anything about it. They don't care like, there was a recent story where someone blurted out a racial slur. I forgot what it was, and I'm not going to say it because it was a racial slur. Twitch ignored it. Like, what? Why? Why would you... Uh, Twitch, this is why I don't go to Twitch anymore. This is why I stopped streaming on Twitch. There's too much drama going on over on Twitch. It's crazy. I don't want to be caught up in that loop. Ooh. I haven't heard this remix before. This is a really good castle remix. I like this. 
You loved SRB2? I'm probably never going to touch that game ever again. After the trio played it, I have vowed myself never to play it again. Dylan did the same, but he went ahead and played the Encore version all the way through. I feel sorry for him. Do, 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 do. Um, how long have we been streaming? I'm not even sure. We've been streaming for about a good almost two hours now. I'm not gonna end it. I'm actually going to do something else. Um. Twenty-one hours. That's how long we've been playing. <laughs> What I'm gonna do is, I'm actually going to, uh, try and set up my game capture. I'm not sure how I want the, the game capture menu to look, so, let's, uh, let's do that. I guess this is gonna be fun. Alright, now I'm assuming you can hear me. Alright, that's good. It's good to know. Alright, um, 48 hour stream. I, listen, if I had a better computer, I am I would be up for a 48 hour stream. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's just too soon for that to happen. Um, let's see here. I don't want to do this. I might do another 12 hour charity stream in the future, but I'm not too certain. Speaking of charity streams, we got the Mega Genesis stream coming up. Mega Genesis week, 16th through the 20th, featuring me, Dylan, and Frank. We're going to be streaming a bunch of Genesis and Mega Drive titles that will be coming to the Genesis Mini throughout the week and all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to see a certain content creator there, let me know and I'll try and get in contact with them. I asked Tails Channel if they wanted to be there. They said that they were free, but they haven't really got back to me about that, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Stream for the rest of my life. <laughs> More so just gonna be setting up the scene. I probably won't play anything. I just wanna see how I want this set up. You guys are here to give me feedback. So um let's start off with bringing chat over here. Do you want chat on the left side or the right side? It'd be cool to get Ant Dude on there. I'm not sure if I can contact Ant Dude though. <laughs> I could possibly get into contact with Red Hot. How are you gonna. Where am I gonna put the gameplay? Sierra? Come on, we gotta think logically about this. Alright, we'll put this on left. Change this to live chat. And I will do the else. else. Not even sure what it's playing. Angel Island Zone. Alright, and then we will extend it. Might. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Want. Do this. There we go. Um, we got Sam with glasses. Does that count? <laughs> I mean, if you want it to count, sure. We could go by that. Sam, a classic Sonic fan. I don't know if that would be possible to get. Flip the game ways sideways. Why would you want that? No. Play the Buck Bumble theme. 
He's in the Sonic Hacking Contest server, but I'm not sure how he feels about people DMing him over Discord. I'll, I'll contact him over email and see if he gets back to me. Have I ever tried to make an attack? No, because I'm not much of a speedrunner and I don't have the skill for speedrunning, so that's not something in my area. Though, speedrunning is interesting, won't lie. Okay, let's see here. Let's add a new source. Is this my webcam? It's my webcam. Hey, people, how's it going? I don't speed run. Um, can I get my capture card up here please Are you gonna allow me to view my capture card see the cat wear headphones no oh is this the remix 10 I like this one Frank's already going to be a part of it, so there's no worry about that. Okay, my capture card's not wanting to pop up for some reason. So, what we're going to do is we're going to deactivate it, and we're going to instead just use... Use the lovely picture that Soup made for my SM64 video. You want gameplay down here? Maybe right here. Just copy Dylan's layout entirely. Why am I drowning? Because I drowned in the video. <laughs> I mean, that audio still exists somewhere, JJ. If you haven't watched the SRB2 playthrough, I, I swore a lot in the special stage. I'm going to turn up the volume for this because I like this song. Oh, I can't, I couldn't make it big enough. <laughs> Thank 
Actually, better yet, hold on. Give me one second. Is it in this one? It's gotta be in this one. No? That was in here. There it is. Fitting. Oh yeah, the glimmering gift. <laughs> this is what I call quality entertainment, baby. I am so funny. This has been a production by Dave Ace, sponsored in part by... Disney, the one monopoly stop to endless entertainment. Give them your money. <laughs> what else do I have laying around? <laughs> I've got this picture of Tangle that I cut out for the video. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hey, Sonic. How's it go? <laughs> what else can we add in here? What other cursed images do I have? Ooh, actually, you know what? I made a bunch of cursed images. See, what happens is Sam will send something to the group chat that I'm part of, or Lords will send something to the group chat that I'm a part of, and I will make some kind of cursed image. Like, for example, I made this cursed image right here that Sam used in his stream of Knuckles Chaotix. I made that. And then, Lord sent in a picture of the Tails communicator with feet, and then I made this. Indeed. What else can I add? Come on, there's gotta be some- Oh, yeah! <laughs> Fitting music, by the way. Beautiful music. I can add in Spyray, the Spyro Manta Ray that I made for the video. Thank you, thank you. I try, I try. And because we are epic gamers here and epic gamers only, we gotta have Doritos. And obviously we can't scarf down a bag of Doritos without drinking a nice, refreshing Mountain Dew. Sponsored by Disney. And presented by White Castle. I'm surprised my stream's not lagging because of this. I'm doing so much stuff. <laughs> Usually it'd start lagging by now. I might have spoken too soon.
make a great commercial producer. This is why I'm going into marketing. I'm going to market for Sega one day, and I'm going to make everyone's dreams come true. Isn't that right, Dylan? I'm just going to start dragging in a bunch of... I'm bored. I'm really bored. Let's see what else I got that's random. Let me find something random. Tangle right now, looking- well, most people joining into the stream looking at the stream right now. Any Frank memes? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Hey, look, it's Ed. That time when Tangled the Cat, or Tangled the Cat, was Tom the Cat. Oh, I made this for, I made this for Matt Manheimer. Zick team. What Sonic team will slowly become. I made Tangle a Phantom Thief. I don't know what this was for, but I did that for whatever reason. <laughs> I have so many folders on my desktop called desktop. <laughs> Why do I have that picture of Ninja? I don't... Okay. Oh, that's why I made. <laughs> that's, that's why I have that picture of Ninja. I did. Much appreciated for the subscribe. God, what? No! The one time that I choose the stream, they both choose the stream! This is not happening! This is unacceptable! I feel betrayed. A random person. Everybody's a cool kid. Dylan, stop picking your nose. Ho 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 ho.
Peppa Pig is a rat. Ripperoni. <clears throat> That's about all that I got. Wait, no. My favorite cursed image that I've made. How could I forget? How could I forget? There we go, folks. That's the masterpiece. I am lucky. See, look, he decided to, sh to steal my viewers. I decided to slander him. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have a picture of Benson B. Oh, look. <laughs> Speaking of Dylan, let me see if I can find. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. I can't Google one right now, Sierra. It'll lag my computer. Oh wait, I got even more pictures in my documents. You know the, where this is going. I mean, he's already been a girl, so it fits. Hey, right, Toadster. <laughs> Stop spreading false information. Oh, this is cool. I'm not sure if this will show. But Dylan, when he went to, um, again, I'm not sure if this is going to show, it probably will, it probably lag the stream, let me just get rid of all this. We can make another masterpiece later. Actually, no, I'm keeping Tangle there. He went to too many games, and I wanted to go this year. I got invited to go because I'm with ScreenWave, but I couldn't go because it's in Pennsylvania, and I don't got the money to go to Pennsylvania. Um, but he got me this video, and I, I really appreciate it. Hey, y'all. Diet Scott there. Hey, y'all. That was probably really loud. I didn't hear a word that it said. So I'll leave it up to you guys to know if it said anything or not. Because there was an inside joke that where I was diet Scott the Waz. So he got a video of him saying, hey, all diet Scott there. I'm just looking for a lot of- oh wait. <laughs> I knew something was missing, the music wasn't playing. When will you learn? Never. You live and you learn some. Oh wait! Why didn't I add that? Where'd it go? Where's the picture in question? Oh, here. <laughs> Called me a foot. Well, you know what? Wait, he's watching right now. Hey, Dylan, how's it going? Hope you're doing well, you know, buddy. Got smoker toad. <laughs> it's 
Snark and Toad from Super Mario 64 gameplay. Hey Hyper, how's it going? Go watch Girl of 64. The guy that talks a lot. And Frank of Knuckles Channel 3 and Knuckles. The guy that doesn't talk so much. And obviously, me, the better one of all three. I appreciate that, Orby. <laughs> Am I doing that now just because I, you snitch? No, because, see, look. I'm sure Dylan's not watching the stream now. Ooh, watch this. You know who Dylan really sounds like? Let me tell you who Dylan really sounds like. Alright, you ready for this? You ready for this? <laughs> there you go, that's who he sounds like. He sounds like a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh wait, I do have the the Frank meme. Hold on a second. Can I do this successfully? I have to move him. Above. <laughs> hey Dragon Hunter, how's it going? Here we go, folks! And Smug Coco. This became a meme stream because I'm bored. <laughs> I'm so bored. <laughs> this music fits everything that's going on right now. Dylan will never forgive me. It's okay. We're friends. That's what friends are for. You know what? Here's what <laughs> I'm, I'm such in a meme mood right now. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep Tangle here because Tangle's Tangle. And she needs to be there. Let's see if I can get my capture card to work. <laughs> TV gonna turn on anytime soon? Flipper? Why? <laughs> I like how smooth that was. <laughs> Alright, let's see if it'll... Gotta work. Okay, so that works. Capture cards found. Come on, Elgato. Alright, hold on.
but the capture card is enabled because it shows up on the TV. I don't want to have to restart the stream just because it doesn't want to work. My reaction to Sans and Smash Ultimate was that it was cool. I said not playing right. I guess we could just save that for another time. I was gonna do Me Maker and we were gonna make a lot of Mii's, but it doesn't want to work right, so I'm just gonna have to wait on that one because if I wanted to get it to work I would have to restart OBS and I just don't feel like doing that. You shall try to summon Dylan. I mean he's streaming right now. I wouldn't bother him to be honest. Do you have a Nintendo account? I do. Judged you for free. <clears throat> One second. I just want to check something. Yeah, that's not going to show me what I want to see. It's going to show me what I want to see? No. If I go back here. Oh. Why isn't it showing me what I want to see? Maybe if I do this. Okay, that's what I want to see. Alright. You know, that's funny. Because... I got someone that donated for media share and um, this is literally what they wanted to be played if I you know what here let me um add this I think it will work it might work with just the alert box no no I'll just do this Ed source. Okay. Done. Move that here. Back to here. My computer is surprisingly holding up for this. That's good. It's good. So someone donated like I don't know how long ago. And I didn't get a notification for this. So I guess I assume that they just did a, um, and I don't, I don't know. Is that playing? I don't think it is. Oh, it's not even showing. That's all I play, just in case copyright comes down on me. But someone sent... So basically what MediaShare is, you can donate a certain amount of money and it'll play a video if it wants to work right. Apparently it doesn't want to work right with me right now. Um, and someone donated like a dollar to play that and it just... I don't know why it's not showing. That's so weird that you would bring that up. Yeah, I know he's streaming. He's streaming Smash. I'm not sure if he's doing an open lobby. If he is, then I might join him. That would probably be lag on your end. OBS says I'm fine. But, man, this has been an eventful stream. Let me come back to chillin'. Hey, Chillin'. Um, I think I might end it off here. It's been fun, though, yeah. It's been fun. Um, I don't want to keep you guys here when you can go and watch someone cooler than me. 
Um, if Frank's open to VC, I'll uh, I'll join him in his stream, or I'll just hang out there and might play a couple of rounds with them. Um, now I look younger. Thank you. I much appreciate it. Nobody's cooler than me. They are. They are Sierra. Trust me. Um, <laughs> Brooklyn Nine Nine here I come. Uh, much appreciate for appreciated for everybody being here and sitting through my meme tastic stream that it turned into. Don't do this to me. Don't do. You can't do this to me. Soundtrack. Why would you play that specifically at the end? VLC is sentient. Um, <laughs> I want to give a shout out to my channel members, Orby, Jaded Indolent, Sam's Procrastination Station, Maxi Edition, um, Appalooza, JJ, <laughs> JJ's here, Appalooza, and I think that's everybody. I'm not thinking of anybody else that I can name up off the top of my head. If you want to become a member, you can by clicking the join button or the dollar thing, and it's either a dollar a month or four ninety nine a month, or with the new tier, it's ten dollars a month. Nobody would be crazy to pay for that. That's why I put it there because I want to challenge people. You get access to specific cool emotes like this, and you get for the ace tier, you get a one minute preview of every new video. For the ace plus tier, you get the full video early. And for the 999 tier that no one will pay for because I know you would be insane to do it, you can join me on stream. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later.